Hello everyone, my name is Veritas and I am joined again by the ambient voice of... Dad Attack! Yes, he's still playing Metro Last Light and I'm still running around Skyrim. I should turn my light off, but I'm not going to, because I'm a... I don't know why. I just don't want to get up. I'm that lazy. No, no. Um, in the downtime, I switched my mission over to go talk to the Jarl of Fall Crease, so we actually have an objective this time. I'm not going to be wandering around. And uh, I sound very objective, but uh... Yeah, it's going to be just me wandering through the fucking rift again, so... Unless Cat Attack and I can think of a story to tell you guys, which is basically just going to be our bl random blabble, which usually degrades itself into talking about rape and sex, so. Blabble, blabble. Blabble, blabble. I don't think I was supposed to go down here. Yeah, it's not the first time I've heard that. Aha! See? How quickly it turns. <laughs> oh boy, let's find out where we're going. I wish, I really want to get GTA 5 just to play the online with you. Right. It looks like so much fun. Like, G I don't know. It looks like, I don't know. I've never played a GTA. Well, I played GTA 4 a little bit, but I don't really like it. But I think GTA 5 is, uh, it looks like something that I could get into. I wish I was a bowler. Wish I was a little bit taller. Wish I had planned this A rap song in freestyle and not hit everything on the way down. Oh, God. Help me. <laughs> I have a very bad feeling about shooting up people in the hood. Just saying. Everyone in the hood has an issue with dying. It'll give me something to do that'll be it'll break away from the monotony of COD and Battlefield and whatever else, so. Yeah, pretty much. I might just download that for the fuck of it because I'm not gonna have COD until early November and that's like a week or two away. It doesn't sound like a lot of time, but for, for us hardcore gamers over here, you know, it's like oh. so. Back in 1978, there was a German researcher by the name of Hans de Hach, which is a really weird name for a German guy, but I think he was born in, like, Sweden or something. Anyway, long story, well, kind of shorter, uh, Hans was a nuclear physicist in the fall of the Reich, so he escaped, you know, the whole death by the Nazi bullshit um, things when World War II ended, and he ended up going underground for the re remainder of his uh, of his unprofessional career because obviously he couldn't do anything public or else he would be captured and killed because he was a leading Nazi scientist uh, back in those days. So, um, through his uh, through his research, in inevitably, he created a device that he thought could travel through time. Uh, he thought it could bend enough, he thought it could bend space enough to go to the fourth dimension and come back by using nuclear fission, fusion, and some other kind of bullshit. Anyway, this was back in 1978 or so. So, in, you know, when did the Cold War end? Was that, like, the 60s, 70s? 90s. 90s? All right. So, uh... I believe. I don't know. So, whenever the Cold War ended, you know, he was, obviously, since he was a former Nazi scientist, he wasn't very happy with Russia, um, nor was he happy with America, so, since they were both kind of his enemies, when the Cold War ended, he got... He used the device on himself, because he was... He had nothing else to do. His life work was meaningless at that point. Um, used it on himself and basically kind of broke the laws of physics. Now, the only thing about this that's actually interesting is that our current day MRI, our current day anything to do with like body scans, it comes from the remnants that, uh, that they found of this man's machine after it basically blew itself up and killed him instantaneously. Um, he basically caused a tiny nuclear reaction inside of his own chest because it was like a it was a very small device that was kind of like a suicide bomb almost kind of thing. But um, all of our current day like uh, radiation, anything, uh, chemotherapy, any of that kind of stuff that comes from uh, reverse engineering the device that he made and some other schematics that they found in his laboratory. Um, after he killed himself, and obviously the explosion notified people above ground that, hey, there's someone down there, so. He was, like, below the streets of some city in, like, catacombs or some bullshit like that, so. Yeah, you can thank, uh, Hans for, uh, all the shit that you guys have nowadays that has to do with radiation or nuclear fission and fusion. Well. Yeah. Fucking science up in this bitch. Disclaimer, none of that's actually true. I just made it all up. 
So, anyway. Cat Attack, got any stories? Emo. That's an interesting story. You want to talk about your childhood? No. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. The I'm rumblies. A survivor. The rumblies. The ground just shook. It's got the rumblies that only hands can satisfy. I fucking hate you. <laughs> what? Llamas with fucking hats, that's why. That only Hans can satisfy. Ah. Alright. You wanna you wanna do it, don't you? Fuck you. You wanna do it, don't you? Carl. That? Yeah. Yeah. Carl, what are we standing in? Would you believe it's strawberry milkshake? No. Boat nectar. No. Carl, what is it? Alright, fine. It's a lovely elderly couple from 2B. Carl. <laughs> Thank God the children were not bored to see this. Oh, God. That was a great video. Those are all pretty good. Showed who that? Um, I showed you that. Oh my god, how far away is I am going? <laughs> Y'all can squabble about who's gonna do what, but I'm just gonna leave. I like how I started out here. <laughs> Everyone look at the map. I started out there. Put a marker there. <laughs> and ended up there. Take a sharp left. <laughs> Go back that direction. Oh god, I am fucking retarded. I started at White Run, right? Like a little bit outside White Run. Cat attack. Sorry, what? I just I the one from getting raped. I started a little bit outside of White Run. Okay. Put a marker on Fall Creek. I'm almost at Markarth. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Alright, time to go back this direction. Oh god. There's a man on a horse. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've done my good deed for the day. There's this weird flower here. Pee on me! No. What? What did the flower say? Bino, what is the flower? He wants me to be on him. Bino, this might be your ticket in to get <laughs> this might be your ticket to getting you molested. I'm not being on the flower. Be on me! <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? Bino, do what he says! Be in my mouth, I wanna gargle! <laughs> I'm not being on you. Fine, I'll pee on the flower. Great Bino, this is a great <laughs> advancement of science. What's happening? He's crawling up my urethra! What? The flower? He's crawling up my urethra! And singing! And singing! <laughs> oh, that was a fun video. Everyone go look up Bino the Elephant. It's actually rather entertaining. There, there's something wrong with you. I don't know what it is, but there's something wrong with you. You probably have already seen it if you guys saw llamas with hats. Any of you guys that are into the whole uh, secret agent Bob, uh, that kind of stuff, the, uh, all that what nonsense, those kind of animations on YouTube, you'll probably have, you'll probably have seen what I was talking about. One of my favorite lines ever is in that Bino the Elephant video with um, uh, the professor talking to his wife in the morning. He's like, Meredith... Yes? Meredith? What? Where are my keys? What? My keys, Meredith. I left them here on the table. Now they're not here. I don't know. So she's like, she gives him like some change for the bus and he's like, thank you, Meredith, for your minimum contribution to my day. <laughs> Fucking crying. Alright, everyone go look up Bino the Elephant. Spelled B-I-N-O the Elephant.
something to do in your downtime. I am still going away from Falkreath. Good lord, I'm never going to get there. <sighs> I'm gonna pop some tags. Only got twenty dollars in my pocket. I I'm looking for a hooker. This is freaking awesome. All right, stupid song. Uh, there's Ooh. that douchebag. What douchebag? The douchebag. The douchebag. There's a lot of well, your your definition of it and my definition of it are different. The asshole who put me out on the street. What? No way. I'm lost. Notice. I never feel so lost. That's an old song. Good lord. Again, the asshole who put me out on the street. So confused. I don't know. I'm literally lost. I have no idea who you're talking about. I know this. Never should have come. Who are you talking about? Enough! Who was I staying with? I'll see you in pieces. <laughs> oh, okay. Wait. I thought you were talking about the game. No. No, that's what I thought. That's why I was so lost. I was like, where in Metro do you get kicked out? No. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Did you receive word from said asshole? No. Uh oh. Did they just arrive? Did they just a lot? Did they just arrive within the the confines of the online world? Yes. Ah, yes. For those of you that are stupid, <laughs> someone got online. You want to talk? I know. I thought. I, well, you can't fault me for that. I thought you were talking about the game because you've been talking about the game the whole time. No, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. And I'm just like, what the f- I'm like, I'm like, I know I didn't play that, that I, it was a long time ago, but balls, there's no one that kicks you out in that game. I'm getting angry with you. I was like, Ooh, and I couldn't figure out why you wouldn't say the name, and I was like, oh, <laughs> that makes more sense. Good job, Veritas. Yay. Oh, conveniently, all the episodes that- <gasps> No! Oh my god! No! Oh god. Well- That's that. <laughs> what? I just supercharged a, uh, um, uh, battle axe, an orcish battle axe. I just charged it, hit a forsworn, but the charge threw me off a cliff and I died. <laughs> and the last time I saved was when I started recording. So now going back like 20 minutes in progress. Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim. Fucking, this place look familiar? Deja vu, motherfucker. God damn it. I didn't get anything important, but it kind of pisses me off. Alright. Well, okay. <sighs> Time to do the bitch's way. I'm gonna go to my map, fast travel back to... Tra fast travel back to the stable outside of Whiterun and take the carriage to Falkreath. So, this is gonna be a short episode because I'm... Honestly, I need to do some stuff. So this will be like a fucking no one watches this shit anyway. All right. You need a ride? Where do you want to go? Take me to Fall Creek, nigga. Back and we'll be off. Climb it. What? You. <laughs> Get up there. All right. See you guys in Fall Creek. Hello, gentlemen. I fast traveled here, and you immediately start questioning me. Thank you. The blacksmith is offering. Oh, this quest. Speak. Speak to Laud. Remember the whole the dog ran away because the master bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that a fucking Daedric quest? Does it upset you that I call Azura a Daedric prince? A little bit. Well, she. Well, it is. I mean, they don't have gender. They portray. You know the lore more than I do. So you know, war, yeah. well, you know that the Daedra are all princes. They just decide what to show themselves as. They're basically genderless, but they show themselves as different things depending on how they feel or whatever. So technically, they're all ambiguous. Is my goddess, so. They're all ambiguous, but you know we all have our things. So anyway, 
Mine's Hermes Mora, so that's a thing. Anyway, um, yeah. Um, what was I gonna say? Da -da 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 oh yeah, we're done here because I'm gonna cut this short so we can do some other stuff. I got some stuff to do, and then we can. There's a couple of quests here we can do: the Jarl thing, and then the Lod thing, and then the. Oh look, a goat! I am suddenly Arabian, back in the Middle Ages. Hello, goat. No, all right, enough of that. If you guys know what I'm talking about, the origin of condoms, goat intestines, British, all that blah. All right. Um. Anyway, so this has been. Uh. Thank you guys all so much for watching. This has been very awesome. Yeah, you're very delayed with that. Um, I'm playing a game. Okay. You're never... <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, I kind of dragged him into recording this. Well, yeah, whatever. doesn't matter. Anyway, um, if you enjoyed it, very much appreciated. And uh, if you didn't, well, that's unfortunate. So, um, other than that... What? Yeah, sure. Um, until the, yeah, until the next part, I'm going to stick... I'm going to try to climb this. I'm this fucking tree, fucking tree, fucking, fucking tree!